What is up guys, my name is Sven and in this video I show you how you can bring up your color grading to the next level with using graduated and radial filter for color grading. Radial and graduated filters are very common in photo editing so that you can yeah, manipulate and edit specific parts of your photo and um, to do that you using graduated filter maybe to darken the sky and leave the foreground as it is or to bring up the exposure from your foreground and leave the sky as it is or to brighten up or maybe manipulate a specific color to a subject in your photo and the same technique you can use in Premiere Pro or in any other video editing software to bring your color grading a little bit more to life and how you do that let's jump into Premiere Pro the program I edit with. In a Premiere Pro you can um, use your color grade I have imported a clip here and we have a very bright sky as you can see here and to bring the sky a little bit yeah to darken the sky a little bit you can bring down the highlights but as you can see as I bring down the highlights I'm losing a little bit of the brightness from the foreground so um, I want to leave the foreground as it is because it's brightened or it's exposed very well so you can bring down the exposure to darken the sky but then you're darkening the completely image um, you can bring down the highlights and bring up the shadows but you see what happens you lose very much of contrast so you can bring back contrast again and you have darkened the sky a little bit but not as I want it so I will reset that quickly for you and how you create a graduated filter well that's pretty simple I have a new adjustment layer right here and I'm adding a Lumetri color effect so the next step is I'm choosing the rectangular masking tool and when I want to yeah, expand the mask I can click on one point and drag it but then you see what happens I only drag out a one point if I'm holding shift I have the same problem so how do you expand the mask in the hole um, you go to one corner and search for this two arrows right here then you hold the shift key and then you can expand the mask completely so bring the mask in frame and as you want it so maybe we need to rotate it a little bit to fit into the composition now you feather out the mask very very hard and that's what a graduated filter is so you can bring the feather way up or way down so that's what you like um, and now you can bring down the exposure and it's bring down the exposure just in this part right here and that's a graduated filter um, you can bring down the highlights or play a little with the settings so that was the graduated filter but how do you create a radial filter well that's the same technique so I will delete the mask very quick here and the next thing to create a radial filter you go to the ellipse mask tool and that's the same technique you can go down to one point search for the little arrows hit shift and expand the mask maybe let's say we want to bring the brightness from this tree back and you can adjust the mask a little bit just like you would do that in Photoshop or in Lightroom and now you will feather the mask out to see what happens and now we will bring up the exposure and you see it's only affecting what's inside this mask yeah guys that's how you create an radial or graduated filter it's pretty easy so um, I hope that was helpful and will bring up your color grading to the next level if it was helpful please 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 give a thumbs up hit the subscribe button to support me and as always I will see you in the next video bye bye